It's a beautiful spring evening with a clear sky, perfect for comet hunting. Me and my telescope and the observatory of snow is ready for the green comet. Let's see what we can get. One of the interesting things with comets is that they move in front of the stars. It's not like deep sky objects where you can decide yourself how long you want to image every sub-exposure. You need to be quick, otherwise the comet will blur. And even if you are quick with your exposures, let's say you are doing one minute exposures to keep the comet sharp and without movement, your stars will start to track. They will look like streaks when you stack together all the comet sub-exposures. To avoid this, the traditional way to do it is to use sigma clipping. And when you stack, that will remove the stars. At least in theory, it should remove the stars. But what always happens for me is that you kind of get these uh, long nasty uh, streaks from the stars and you get also more noise in the image than you would like due to this. So what to do? Especially a problem when you are in a light polluted area where you can't do very long exposures. If you do shorter exposures the movement is even less between each exposure and the sigma clipping will work even worse. So in the case of this new comet, the 12P Pons-Brooks, it's a real problem because it moves so slowly. But then we have a program that is used to remove stars in our deep sky images. It's called StarNet. And let's see if we could use that. But the problem is I have 284 images, sub-exposures, how to run StarNet on all of those without uh, bogging down the computer completely. What I did is I divided the big stack into shorter stacks of about 40 images in each. Then uh, StarNet was able to remove the streaks because the streaks were quite short in uh, such a short period of time. You have a good compromise between a huge stack which you can't run StarNet on and will give you streaks or too many sub-exposures to run StarNet on which will bog down your computer and take forever. So somewhere around 5 to 10 minutes corresponding to in one stack should do the trick and then you will get a few stacks that you can stack together once again with Sigma clipping. This is a good idea, I think, for all of us that lives under light polluted skies and can't do longer exposures.